welcome back to my channel. I'm on here to finally talk about my body line, you guys. It's called Mila J Body. That's M-I-L-A-J-A-E Body, B-O-D-Y. I'm nervous, you guys, because I've been holding this in for so long. Um, but I named my body line Mila J Body after myself and my son. Um, but I want to come on here to talk to you guys all about my sensitive skin and eczema story. And when I was diagnosed with eczema last year, 2019, you guys, that's when I was like, I had to find something that was going to work for my skin. Um, all my life, you guys, I've suffered from sensitive skin. Um, I am the one that cannot wear perfume. I am the one that cannot wear scented products. I'm the one that have extreme sensitivity to smell, to fragrance, to anything I put on my body. I break out in hives, I, um, I'll get inflammation, I'll get, you know, dry, sensitive skin. I get different things that happens to my skin, you guys. I've been suffering um, with that since childhood. I remember when I was like in the fifth grade, there was someone that I was sitting across and he had like, I didn't know what it was, but his skin was very scaly. I had the same issue, but I never said anything. He allowed his skin to show in the classroom. And I was brought up during the time or during the era where people talked about you, you know? So I didn't know how to say it or to um, deal with my sensitive skin issues or my condition as a child. So I hid it um, until I became a teenager and I was staying um, at my grandmother's house during the summer and I had this flare up all over my body. All I can remember is that um, she treated me with gold bond products. So we had powders, creams, like all over my body, you guys. And the only thing I could think of is nobody's gonna want me, everyone's gonna talk about me because that's all I knew, you know, growing up in certain eras or even today, um, when you're dealing with sensitive skin or little, you know, things on your skin, people look, they stare and they talk, right? Another time that I had another flare up, I started to turn to using hair products on my skin. Wrong answer for me, you guys. Um, certain hair products definitely irritate my skin, but my hair loves it. So I am torn with that, but I know I can't use it on my skin. I could probably use it in my hair. I may break out on my face, but I can't like wear it on my skin because I will break out in hives. You guys have heard me talk about my um, allergies and, and all that throughout these years, you guys. I'm finally here to talk about it because it's the hardest thing to actually talk about because like I said, people stare. You, I become uncomfortable, I become embarrassed, or I just don't know how to deal with it. So I struggled with that all the way up till I was about 35, you guys. And then I was like, you know what? I have to take control of my skin. As I started to have another outbreak all over my skin. It was actually here. It was here, here, and here. I got it here on my eyes. It was like little bumps everywhere. I think it was January of 2019, you guys. That's when I started getting right back in the gym. I fell off for a while. A week or so after that, y'all, my skin was like, I didn't know what was going on. This time, my skin was itchy. Like, I'm gonna do a clip here. I went through that for so long, not knowing what it was. So I stopped going to the gym thinking I caught something at the gym. The itch was so bad um, that I would wake up in the middle of the night scratching so hard and so much. And I just didn't care that my husband would wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me, stop scratching. You're going to bleed. Stop scratching. All I could remember was... I needed something to calm it down. If I just had a shot of this or a shot of that or something, I just need something to calm it down. So I'll go underneath my cabinet and I will start using things that just didn't work on my skin. Went to my doctor leading with, hey, you know, I think I have wingworms. And she was like, this isn't wingworms. You know, she looked at my skin. She's like, it's not wingworms. She was like, stick out your tongue. I stick out my tongue She's, and my tongue was white. And she was like, it's something you're eating. What are you eating? Um, are you eating dairy, ice cream? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm eating a little bit more ice cream. I'm like, well, stop eating ice cream. 
if you stop eating ice cream, you'll see your skin will calm down. I'm thinking, mm, never heard of that before, but I'm like, okay, stop eating ice cream. She's like, you can do some uh, home remedy with some African uh, black soap and coconut oil. Um, I'm like, that's it. I don't get a prescription. Um, can you recommend some, you know, some cream, something? And at that time, you guys, I was like, four months to my cruise. So that's the reason why I didn't even talk about my cruise before it happened, you guys, because I was going through so much with my skin. Y'all, that burnt my skin. It burnt my skin. And then after I put coconut oil on top of it, just burnt my skin. It was, it, it made my skin drier. It, the itch was more intense. It was just horrible, you guys. Didn't know what to do. I had a family emergency. Um, I went to my hometown. Um, on the road as we were coming back hometown, you guys, I had scheduled an urgent care visit that Sunday that we were coming back in town. I went to the urgent care. The urgent care had was like I was telling them all my symptoms and you know things like that and they were just looking at me like girl and basically she said like you've never heard of eczema and I'm like no what's that didn't know what eczema was I've heard of it didn't really know what it was uh, she prescribed me was it prednisone I was prescribed prednisone now, if you guys know me, like know me, know me, I'm not the one that takes random prescriptions like that. So before I even took it, you guys, I had to do my research on it. Did research, I couldn't even sleep. Mind you, I haven't been sleeping for days anyways. Couldn't sleep. All I was reading about was moon face, side effects. You don't want to be on this long term. It'll drive you crazy. It'll do this, it'll do that. You know, and then I start reading about eczema and researching about that. And then I was looking into my birth control pills control. I was like, oh, okay, I got it. I can't take this. I can't take that. I was reading things about my diet. Um, I had to go vegan or, glu or uh, gluten free and some things. I'm like, okay, I can do a little this and that. And then I think I was reading something where I had to drink like celery juice or it was just so many things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, got to change my lifestyle. Also read that I couldn't take, you know, hot showers. That irritates it. I'm like, I love hot showers. <laughs> like, I'm like, this cannot be my life, you guys. So, of course, um, if you've ever had eczema before, if you know that itch or that pain or that that constant, that, that feeling, it happens all throughout the day, but at night it's intense. I was so upset with my doctor. Remember you guys, I was at work and it was so embarrassing at work, carrying around. I think I was, um, I think they had at the urgent care, they had uh, recommended CeraVe, didn't like it at all. It was thick, it was itchy, it was dry. When things dry on your skin, it just does not feel right. It, it just makes, it just made it worse. It's so intense, you guys. And, there were so many things. I don't even want to get into it because there were so many things that I was recommended, things that I tried, things that I bought that I can't even pronounce. I spent so much money, you guys, trying to heal my skin. I was at work. I remember my lunch break, and that's when I realized that, hey, people can hear you from your car phone. Because <laughs> I was calling my doctor. I wasn't cursing or anything like that, I swear. But I was like, hey, I went to the urgent care. You know, you didn't tell me this. What is this? You know, we've already done my blood work, you know. What's going on? Is this in my blood? You know, didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was. Like, what is it? Let me know. I need to know more about it. Um, so they called back. That was all on voicemail, you guys. And then that's what I realized because someone was walking past my car and they kind of turned back. And I'm like, ooh, so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Um, I think at that time it was like maybe gone February, March time frame. But I remember like it was hot and I was in the office wearing turtlenecks hiding my skin or I'll go into this itch, itch, itchy frenzy or, I, or I'll be in my car, you know, itching away, applying cream that didn't even work on my skin, running to the bathroom. It was just horrible. The doctor um, recommended I see an allergist and I was like, okay, an allergy, is this an allergy? You know, I deal with allergies. I have allergies and I take Zyrtex for it. And when I break out in hives, I know what that looks like. This isn't allergy i made an appointment with my with an allergist um here and the day before my appointment they called me and told me that i had to pay 500 dollars um to prior to be seen and if i don't pay 500 dollars, if i didn't have it i can break it up in two payments 250 250 
And I was so desperate at that time, you guys, because we're about to go on a cruise in like a month and a half. I have this itch going on. I can't sleep. My skin's breaking. Um, and to the point where with eczema, I, my skin started to get, I was, it was, it was purple. It was getting dark. It was just purple. It was raised. It was just, just horrible. I paid it $500, paid it, pissed off. Even before I went there, I told them about my skin condition and I felt like they heard me, but they didn't hear me. Um, when I got there, I felt like they was trying to sell me something, which was some allergy drops. You guys, they did like a prick test. I knew I was allergic to grass. I know I'm allergic to cedar. I'm putting allergens in your skin. They're testing you for allergies and my skin broke out in hives. I see that all the time. I knew exactly what that was, but I'm like, but what is this? What is this? What is this? Tell me what is this? Y'all, they were like, have you ever heard of dermatitis? Like, oh my gosh, I'm at the wrong place. I was so upset and I felt like she felt my frustration that to make up for that $500 uh, payment that I had to pay before I was seen, she actually stayed in the office and she talked to me excessively. Oh. Do you know what she gave me? She asked me, did I want a Zyrtex or a Claritin. And I was like, hell no. I know I didn't spend $500 for you to tell me that I do not need to see an allergist. I need to see a dermatologist. I, I've called, of course I called my doctor. I ran into about that. They sent me a referral to a dermatologist. I'm like, y'all should have sent me to a dermatologist in the first place. I was so upset about the process and everything that I've been going through a month just trying to figure this out that I even want to see a dermatologist. They were gonna sell me some prescription cream that just wasn't gonna work, that wasn't going to give me the results that I was looking for and what I needed. So I knew then that I needed to create something for my skin. And that's when I started really researching different um, ingredients, different products, different benefits, vitamins and nutritions that my skin needed in order to withstand different skin conditions that I got. Like through. I said before, I, I definitely wanted to mass produce. Show you guys how and what I've done and what has healed and helped my skin, you guys. Um, I've been using my body line for the past year and it's been helping me tremendously. It's been helping my friends. The best compliment ever is when, you know, someone is wearing my product and someone else that we don't even know compliments them and asks them, what are you using on your skin? Your skin looks great. That is the best compliment that I can get ever. Um, Cause all I wanna do is help. And when I get so many of that, I'm like, I really need to put this out and help those that are truly interested, um, who, who have skin conditions or may not have skin conditions and just want to glow or to um, use something that's more natural and organic. Now I want to say here, you guys, I am not a physician. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. Um, Mila J body products are formulated and created based on experiences with sensitive skin, dermatitis, eczema, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, inflammation, sensitivity to smell. I deal with it all. You guys are going to be launching really soon. And I'll tell you guys more about that in the next video. But for now, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Mila J Body. Um, on Instagram, there is a link that says be the first to know. When you click that link, it says be the first to know when we launch. If you guys subscribe to my mailing list there, you guys will be updated on my lunch date when that's official. I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway soon. So just make sure you subscribe to that mailing list. Um, that way you'll be notified once I do the giveaway. And I think I'm going to do the giveaway next week when I um introduce you guys my first product so i hope you guys enjoyed the video but i want to come on here transparent open and honest and just have a very open conversation about skincare I definitely want to mention that my products are not going to help alone you have to make sure that you're moving around you know make sure your blood flow is great that you're hydrated with water um, that you're eating, uh, watching your diet and things that you put in your body. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna let you guys go. Follow me on IG and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.